the good things you like. Jamie, what about this whole uh, campaign strategy that she's going to run as, I I'm more of a grandma than I am anything else? Well, all brands have to refresh themselves every so often. So Hillary Clinton is a, a very established brand, and whether you're Pepsi or Coca-Cola or Hillary Clinton, you have to go in and, and refresh it every so often so you stay relevant and interesting to people. And so what she's done with her team, and I know some of the team that have worked on this, they've gone in and said, what is the authentic Hillary? What is the way that we can tap into who she really is? And as David mentioned, distance her a little bit from Obama while not distancing her from some of the policies that the Democrats follow, but the bottom line is they go in and they say, hey, let's refresh the brand and let's repackage it so that we're new and fresh to people. And she's done that by basically positioning herself as a re-energized grandmother, which I think softens her a little bit to the people who find her harsh, keeps talking to, about how she's re-energized and, and addresses the age issue. So it's a fine balance. But I think so far, from a strategic standpoint, they've done a really good job. All right, want to take a look at what is on the front page of the New York Post today because they're holding back no punches, as you would expect. I mean, there's always going to be criticism, right? Look at this. Oh, hell no, they say. And inside, it's an interesting issue. They say the real issue is Clinton fatigue and national exhaustion from having been there, done that too many times. As, Jamie, you were just talking about refreshing herself. Has she refreshed herself enough, and can she do so, David? Well, that's the problem for Hillary Clinton. She's trying to reinvent herself very much like Richard Nixon did with the new Nixon. And with Hillary Clinton, yes, she's trying to rebrand herself as the new grandmother, but the problem is she's got all the baggage with the old Hillary, as we recently saw with her press conference about the emails. Mm -hmm. She's not escaping that. And it's very hard when someone's been around as long as Hillary Clinton to rebrand themselves. Yes, you need to try to refresh yourself, but sometimes it's just not possible, and it doesn't look like it's possible for Hillary Clinton. All right, Jamie, well, let me ask you about the bill factor. Um, we have, a, there was a, a video from the New York Times in 2007 or an article where they were in the grocery store. This was during a campaign stop in Des Moines. He basically upstaged his wife. Uh, she was there, you know, to talk to people, and, and lo and behold, that they wrote, Mr. Clinton was immediately mobbed by beggars, shoppers, and cashiers. There were a couple times when she stood by herself waiting for her husband to stop chatting up the crowd. How is he going to play a role in this? Let, let me, uh, as a as somebody who's happily married, let me assure you, she addressed that with him immediately after that happened, and he he was talked to not only by his lovely wife but also by his handler. But you can't deny his popularity. I mean, how might his popularity in general affect her? Absolutely, and so the, the the balance is how do you leverage the popularity without it letting it over overwhelm you? And so they're they're working very very hard right now trying to figure out that balance. I would suggest, believe it or not, I would if if I were consulting with them right now, I would say make sure that you don't ever get too far where Bill Clinton overwhelms. Hillary, because once that tipping point happens, it's very difficult to get it to go back. So they're they're in there watching this every step of the way. They're analyzing all of the reports that go out to make sure that he actually does not do that. So you have a, you have a campaign strategy, but you have to be fluid with it, I guess, is the point at the end of the day. David Johnson and Jamie Turner, oh, we thank you both so much thank for being you. with us. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.